Welcome to Electra Online and now we're going to do an example of how to use the standard form and use it to find the vertex, the focus, the directrix, and then also to grab the parabola. So here we have the equation. It is somewhat in standard form. Matter of fact, it's exactly in standard form for that matter. But in order to see that, we want to write the standard form right underneath it. So here we can write x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4p times y minus k. All right, so having done that, we can now relate to, it, to that, and we can say, well, in that case, we know that h is equal to 3, k is equal to negative 2, and here we can see that 4p is equal to minus 20. If we divide both sides by 4, we can then see that p is equal to minus 5. So we have h equals 3, k equals negative 2, and p equals 5. So that's the first thing you do, is find h, k, and p. And then you come over here and then you realize the vertex is simply equal to the h, k coordinates. So that's the place where the parabola is equal at its highest or its lowest point. So we can say the vertex is equal to h, k, and h is 3, and k is negative 2. So that's the point of the vertex. Now we want to find the focus. And the focus can be found by taking h as the x-coordinate and k plus p as the y-coordinates. In this case, h is still 3, just like the vertex, and k is negative 2, so we add to that p, which is negative 5, so we have um, negative 2 plus a negative 5, and so this can be written as 3, negative 7. So that's the location of the focus. Now we want to find the equation for the directrix, and for the directrix, we can say that y is equal to, and here we go, it's k minus p, so k minus p, so that's equal to k is minus 2, and p is a minus 5, so minus times a minus gives me a plus, that's minus 2 plus 5, which is equal to 3. So therefore we know that y equals 3 is the equation of the directrix. Now we're ready to go ahead and graph the parabola. So here's my y-axis, here's my x-axis, so... And let's see here, the vertex is at 3, negative 2, so that's 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2. So this is the position of the vertex, so that's equal to 3, negative 2. Now we want to find the focus. The focus is at 3 and minus 7. So that's minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, way down here. So there, that's the focus, so that would be equal to 3, comma, negative 7. And then we want to find the equation of the directrix, which says that y equals 3, that's positive 3, 1, 2, 3. I'll put a dashed line in for the directrix, right there. So there's the vertex, there's the directrix, there's the focus, which means the parabola will open downward like this, like that, so that you can see that any point, and let me find my red pen, here's my red pen. So any point on the parabola should be equidistance away from the focus, and from the directrix. And so that didn't quite come out that way because I didn't draw it perfectly, but at least you can see the idea that any point on the parabola will have the same distance from the directrix as from the focus. So what I should have done, probably open it up a little slower like that, kind of like that, not quite as steep, and that would have been just right. But anyway, that's how we do it. So we find the vertex by finding hk, we find the focus by taking the x corner of the vertex, and then adding p to that, in this case p was a negative 5, so therefore negative 2 plus a negative 5 is negative 7, that puts your focus right there, and the directrix can be found by saying the equation is y equals k minus p, k being negative 2, and p being negative 5, but since we subtract the negative 5, we get negative times the negative is positive, so minus 2 plus 5 is a positive 3, that puts the directrix right up here, 3 units above the x-axis. And that's a good example of how we use the standard form to graph a parabola.